All right, we're back. I put this in and then you'll want to buy just some kind of nice sponge. Um, this is a particular sponge I like. I don't know the brand, but it's good with solvents. But, um, you know, pretty much any sponge. I kind of like the flat square ones uh, for rubbing off. And so you just take and lightly, you don't want to, you're not, they, they, this isn't wax on, wax off. This is like a gentle artistic touch because if you really get in there and scrub, well, it's all gone. So you're trying to lightly rub it off the surface and leave it in the cracks. That's the whole gag and it works wonderfully. This, I've tried rub outs with acrylics and, and we actually put in a whole water trough system one time, impractical. And then my friend Jordu Shell comes over one time and he's like, here, do this. And it was, it changed my whole painting life forever. Now I still do shadow, base shadow highlights sometimes depending on the product, but this is a staple now for us, this, this rub out, because what happens is very quickly you get dark in the cracks and, 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 and you, you get it off of your, your base color so you have a very realistic, almost better than you could spray if you took the time to try to spray every little wrinkle. Uh, now, one trick I do is after I rub it out, sometimes mm, it's a little too harsh. So I'll take some of the sponge where I've rubbed off and I'll tap it and that'll put some splotchiness back into it and just a little more rough. You know, like maybe this monster hasn't bathed for a week or something. But that's basically it for um, the rub out and, and it's very quick, very easy. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, since this is so fast, I'm going to take it all the way to completion. So that's an extra bonus. So this is blue FW. Now I have not done a custom blend of this at all. I believe it's um, Romney blue. It's kind of a process blue color. Now here's something I do. I'm going to do now, even though I'm just used to it. I walk around with air holes. So I put it around my neck. So it's not always yanking my arm. And if you're sitting in one place, you don't need to do this, but I'm just, it's just uh, the way we do it. So I'm staying, I'm staying at a distance and I'm, I'm laying up this blue. And the reason I'm staying at a distance is so that it'll feather the edges very gracefully. And, it, and, and so blue, especially on green, is great because it kind of turns like a darker green. And uh, it really looks nice. You can do some little warts here, you know, small details and, uh, and kind of exaggerate um, certain areas. And you can really kind of be sloppy when you're back. You know, it gives it kind of a nice organic feel. So that's the blue color. Now, this is the Purple Lake uh, FW ink. It's a beautiful purple color. And I use it straight out of the bottle. And this is great for lips. You can use it very subtly, you know, dial it down. Um, I'm going over that pink, just to give it a little punch. Then I'm going in tight on the eyes. Now here's a little secret. If I get the blue on too heavy, I can come and knock it back with the purple, which I did on these warts. I'm more interested in showing you than paying attention. So, and a little, put a little pink on his ears. Maybe it's cold where he is. And we'll just kind of, again, just kind of, you know, break it up. 
So that's really it. If you want to, you, uh, I, I always love black. Black, um, again, this is straight out of the bottle, FW paint. Um, black is nice to punch details. I'm going to show you another distortion secret that I'm sure people would laugh at me, but I like it. And here's my trick. Again, we've, we've, we've used this shadow up in, in the past. Well, this is shadow up and it just punches like he's in a dark room. I'm, I'm actually spraying black and making it like he's uh, in the shadows a little bit. And it just makes him that much creepier. You wouldn't probably even notice it unless you're really paying attention, but you can come in and punch some of your deep areas uh, in the nose, ears. Um, you could even shadow a little bit. Now, a lot of times with teeth, I'll use a dark brown, but black can work too. So I'm shadowing the tips of the teeth, cleaning up any uh, slop, and there he is. He's a happy little gargoyle, and he's coming to your house. Go get him. But wait, there's more. Order now and you get the free Ginsu knives. No, I forgot to put gloss on his teeth. I don't know if you noticed that. Um, I use, on something like this, there's different ways to gloss. We'll go over this later. This is Liquitex Gloss Medium. And um, they have a gloss gel. You don't want that. You do want that for something else. We'll talk about that another day. This is just the gloss medium. You can put it in an airbrush. I've got it in quartz sprayer. Okay, there he goes. When his teeth dry, they'll be nice and shiny. So we will see you next time. So that is how we do the rub out paint job here at Distortions. And uh, I think he turned out pretty good, don't you? So anyway, listen guys, you have fun and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.